This week on Makers Lab TV, find out how to laser engrave ingredients. When it comes to laser engraving, how do you create different textured layers as well as a 3D depth perception to make it look completely different to your normal average engraving. Like this banana for example, how are we going to take all these colors we've got here and turn them into different depth levels on the engraving so that we end up with something like this. So I thought the best way to go about this and describe it to you is by using the color chart that we had made. And doing this, we can now choose the colors and how we can choose the depth on the engraving. The color wheel that I've made here really helps you in terms of choosing how deep you want to engrave on certain items. And looking at the color wheel, I've done a color wheel that's got 300 speed and 100 speed. And then I kept the same power throughout the color wheel. Each color has a different power level and shows you each power level it goes, it goes deeper and deeper. And this really helps when it comes to choosing what power percentage to use as well as speed to achieve that level of depth within the engraving. And this helps you on the fly, you don't have to thumb suck it or remember it out of your head. You can just look at this color wheel and it has everything you need to know to see what depth you want to engrave at. And this is going to really help with us doing this banana. Say goodbye to 2020 and start off the new year with new hope. Let this year work for you with quality machinery from am.co.za. Call sales for more information. For the design of this banana, I have got a three color banana here and each color has its own depth in it and I want the black to have the least amount of power and looking at the color chart I made that decision pretty easily and then the green being the second deepest and red being the deepest engraving out of all of them and in doing this you kind of create a 3D effect on the program for when it's engraved and it's, I think it's going to come out looking quite nice. Now the design is done, we've chosen the power levels and all the necessary things we needed to do. Let's move on to putting this piece of wood into this laser machine so that we can start the job. How the laser works is it's going to start at the black level and that I've chosen at a speed of 535% power. Once it's done that, the machine automatically moves over to the next color, being green. And that layer will be at a speed of 550% power. With this new panel from AM, it is very easy to select your jobs. It shows you exactly what you're going to be doing and shows you everything in real time, which makes it so much easier to manage and also pay attention to the engraving. What's really nice about the new desktop laser is that in its program, if the power is cut off or there's an interruption somehow and the laser stops moving. Once you switch it back on you can resume its laser engraving. Opposed to the old units this new upgrade really helps in case there's an emergency you can resume your engraving or cutting at any time without any hiccups. Then from that it's going to be cut out. After we've varnished it we can really now see that the depths of the engraving are now taking place in this image. Starting with our black layer being all the outline and the lower pieces like here around here you can see it's engraved a little bit deep um, 
Then we move on to our next layer being green, which is our mid engraving, which looks quite nice here in the tentacles. Um, it creates that nice depth. And then being the deepest, which is the eyes, as well as this little piece here, it really creates a nice 3D effect and the textures come out really nicely once you varnish this piece. So what I've learned from this is that doing the different levels of engraving in power can create quite a nice 3D textured engraving, which you can apply to any design that you want to. All that you have to keep in mind and some advice is try not to keep to the same power levels. Try and have drastic power levels from let's say 20 to 50 rather than having 20 and 30% power because when it's next to each other you're not going to tell a difference and it really makes a difference when you're using those drastic power levels because it really does as you've seen create a really nice 3D textured layer. At am.co.za, we have always taken pride in our products and customer service. Our Google rating represents our commitment to providing our clients with the best support possible. We have officially achieved a rating of 4.9 stars and an astounding 699 reviews for our Jet Park branch in Johannesburg at the end of 2020. Klobosili Kumalo, a level 6 local guide who has 64 reviews all over the country says, the tech support team is on point. I had an issue with my machine. I called them and they said I must bring it in. The person who helped me checked everything and made sure everything was 100%. Kind staff members helped me load my machine in and out of my car. This was just one of the many appreciative reviews we have received. These tags mean a lot to us. Thank you so much for your support. Let's move our attention to our branch in Montague Gardens of Cape Town, where we have achieved a rating of 4.8 stars and an amazing 299 reviews. Level 7 reviewer Dash Somalu, who has 119 reviews on Google, says, Great company, great products and very well-priced items. The training we received from Messias Chunga was top-notch. He was very knowledgeable and knows his stuff. Another satisfied customer amongst many. We would like to thank you, our loyal customers. Thank you, South Africa. am.co.za. Achievement matters.